Hey guys, what is going on? Have another video for you here today. I'm looking at a data set of student performance in the United States. And what I'm going to do is walk through and analyze the relationship between a set of categorical variables such as um, what uh, education attainment did their parent have? Did they take uh, test prep? And how did those factors affect students test scores, standardized test scores. I'm not going to get into hypothesis testing, regression, any of that in this video. We're just going to chop this data up using pivot tables, some bar charts, some scatter plots, and check out some of the relationships just to do a quick uh, surface overview of what this data looks like. All right, so let's jump in and check it out. First, across the top, we have gender of the test taker, race and ethnicity parental level of education, whether or not the student was on free or reduced or standard lunch, um, which is probably a, an income proxy. We have, did the student take a test prep course? And finally, we have the three scores that the student scored on a, on a math portion of the test, reading and writing. So some of the things we just want to check out is, does test prep affect any of the test scores? How about lunch type? Uh, does having a high math score affect your reading score or writing score? And is the um, uh, alternative also true? Does parental education affect test scores? And more. So let's check it out. As always, first right off the bat, let's just throw this all into a pivot table. I'm checking my data real quick. Let's skim to the bottom. There are a thousand records. Uh, 1001 including the header everything looks nice and clean in a grid so what I can do is just control a select the whole data set insert pivot table new worksheet that's fine in our values field right off the bat let's pull in the three test scores math reading writing and Excel defaulted to sum let's make those average and numeric with two decimals so that's fine average okay all good now let's just go right down the list of these categorical variables let's just pull gender in as the row field so check this out you can see females versus male Here's their math score. Male scored a little bit higher. How about female versus male on reading scores? Males were significantly lower. And then female versus male on writing, females had a higher score. So you can kind of get a quick look at that. I'm not going to throw any charting on this because it's um, only two, two categories. It's not, not too complex. Um, let's keep going. So I'm going to take this whole pivot table, control C to copy it. And then right below, just paste it below to use it as my a skeleton to build the next table. So let's pull gender out of this. And let's pull race and, race and ethnicity in. So we have our five uh, race groups and the scores they made on the test. Uh, now that we're looking at a decent grid of numbers, it's, it's kind of tough to follow. So let's pull in a bar chart on this. All right, and I'm going to go to right click, select data, switch rows and columns because I don't like how, how these are oriented. So see how I have groups across the bottom, scores across the vertical. Let's switch that. Boom. Okay, let's put the legend on the bottom. I right clicked, format, bottom. Let's stretch this out. Okay, check this out. You can get it definitely a clear look at this so let's look at one cluster of bars at a time here is an average math score by race group so you have group a b c d and e you can clearly see differences in scoring by race same with reading same with writing that's uh, really cool how that bar chart in that layout helps it jump out at you I'm going to kick that off to the side. Now let's keep going. Let's copy this pivot table. Paste it right below. 
Okay, I am going to pull out race and ethnicity and pull in parental level of education. And let me flip. I'm going to pull values back up here, parental down here. Okay, just getting a first look at this. This looks like another busy type chart, so let's throw a, a bar chart up here. Same thing, right click, format legend, let's put it at the bottom. And it looks like we're gonna have to switch the axis uh, uh, again. So let's put educational attainment on the vertical, score on the horizontal. Right click, select data, switch, okay. Okay, cool, let's check it out. So what I'm gonna do before I start looking at this chart, let's sort uh, parental education in, in order from low to high. So let's check this out. Some high school, I'm gonna drag that, that's the first one. And then we have high school. Some college is gonna be next. Associates, bachelors, masters, okay, perfect. So that's in order from low to high for educational attainment. Now this chart's making sense. So here's the average math score of the student by parental education. And you can see just as you climb the ladder and parent education scores go up, there's a bit of a hiccup between these two, some high school and high school. It really, really doesn't matter if your parent only went to part of high school or finished high school, does not affect their kid's test score. Um, all the rest though, as you climb through your associates, bachelors and masters, um, definitely, definitely looks like it helps out. All right, let's keep going. Copy this pivot table, paste it down below. And what do we have next? Lunch, is the student on free or reduced lunch? So let me pull values back up here. Okay, we only have two categories, so that's nice and easy. All right, that's pretty easy to see. Um, students that are on free lunch versus standard, lower math scores, lower reading, lower writing scores. Um, again, I suspect this is a uh, proxy for income, uh, students' income. So that makes sense. Our copy, let's paste this down again. Let's pull this out. Did the student take a test prep course? Yes or no? Did that affect their score? Here we have completed versus not. It's higher, higher reading, higher writing. All right, so if you completed a test prep score course, uh, definitely helped out your scores uh, just on average. And you can layer these variables on top of each other. So what I mean is take gender now and pull that on top. And now you can say, see, okay, let's the male female breakdown. Um, does test prep look like it still helped? Uh, female, yes. Male, uh, yep. Same thing, test prep is good, whether you're male or female. And you could uh, stack these variables any way you want. All right, last but not least, we want to check out, does having a high math score uh, also mean that you're going to have a high reading or writing score? Um, so if you're just a smart student, you're a smart student all around, you'll, you'll do good on the test. So the way to check that out is let's uh, create a quick scatter plot. So I'm going to highlight both math and reading score back in the main data table. I'm selecting all the data insert scatter plot and we have I can, I can tell you just looking at this the answer is yes what I lost it okay so as a student scores high on one test type which is this horizontal axis I'm not sure which test type it is they also tend to score high on the second test type and that's evidenced by this clustered upward kind of trajectory up into the right trajectory of these data points each blue point is a student's test score so if we were to right click on these add trend line it, it it's it's what we think it's you know 
as one test score climbs, the other test store score climbs. And you could even go crazy with this. Right click that trend line and put in the R square, which, oh, it's hit, getting hidden. You know, 66% um, of one test score is explained by your performance on another test score. That's the kind of loose, my loose rating of that R square, which is fairly high given this situation. So let's do the same thing now on reading score versus writing score. Um, you would affect those to be correlated as well, possibly higher than 0.66 because reading and writing are uh, a bit more similar than math. Whoop, come on. I'm sorry, third time's a charm. And yeah, just looking at this cluster of points, I mean, see how much tighter these are together in that pattern? Yeah, totally more of a correlation. So let's right click trend line. Let's add R square to the chart. Yeah, look at that 91% R squared between reading and writing. It's logical. It makes real world sense. That's how a lot of this stuff goes. I mean, you know, what's your kind of gut feel? Let's test that hypothesis. So, all right, cool. That was just a quick overview. Um, using Excel to chop up some of this student test data, uh, show you different ways to look at it. I hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned. More to come. Uh, any questions or anything, just reach out. I'll talk to you later.